Here we're going to find the Taylor series for the function f of x equals 1 over x squared centered at x equals negative 1. So here's the formula for the Taylor series where I've filled in a equals negative 1. Notice we have x minus negative 1 to the k is reduced to x plus 1 to the k. And again, the goal is to find the pattern for these derivatives. That's the only thing that changes as we go from one problem to the next. So we have the function here, ours is 1 over x squared, and then we're going to plug in x equals negative 1 to that, and to the first derivative, the second derivative, and so on, and we just need to go far enough to see the pattern. I think the pattern will be clear at the third derivative, if not before. So we're first going to plug in negative 1 1 over x squared when x is negative 1 is simply 1. Then if we take the derivative, we'll get negative 2 over x cubed. If you need to rewrite 1 over x squared as x to the negative 2 to help see that, that's okay. But I'll keep writing it in this consistent form. When we plug in negative 1 to that first derivative, we get positive 2 because the denominator will be negative 1 and so that'll cancel with the negative in the numerator. The second derivative will be 3 times 2, which we could simplify as 6, but it's easier to see the pattern if we don't simplify. Divided by x to the fourth. So when we plug in negative 1 to that second derivative, the denominator is positive 1, so we just get 3 times 2. And it may already be clear what pattern is emerging, because it's looking a lot like one we've seen before. But just to check, we'll do the third derivative. This gives us negative 4 times 3 times 2 divided by x to the fifth. And when we plug in negative 1, that denominator is negative 1, again making the whole thing positive. So you can keep doing this if you need to, but it looks like the pattern that's emerging is again a factorial. So the kth derivative at negative 1 is going to be a factorial, but notice carefully that the third derivative looks like 4 factorial. The second derivative looks like 3 factorial. The first derivative looks like 2 factorial. This zeroth derivative, there's no derivative there, looks like 1 factorial. So the pattern is that whatever the derivative is, the factorial is 1 higher. So here I'll write k plus 1 factorial. So you need to be careful with that, but otherwise it's not too bad. So now we can just plug that into this formula, and we can stop there, although I will show one quick simplification step that's not required. But in general, this 1 over x squared equals the series from k equals 0 to infinity of k plus 1 factorial over k factorial times x plus 1 to the k. So we could leave the answer like that, but it turns out this simplifies pretty easily. That factorial cancels with the one in the denominator, as we've seen before. k plus 1 factorial divided by k factorial simplifies to just k plus 1. So either way you want to write it is fine. But all we're doing again is finding the pattern in the derivatives when we plug in that center point, negative 1. And here the pattern we observed was this factorial pattern.